Welcome back, this is Yamajack to the Gunslinger at Tilda, Ashwood Asylum Suicidal. Uh, it's not alphabetical? My world has been destroyed. Everything I thought was true is no longer. Everything I thought was false is also no longer. I've been fooled. I got a key today to my house. It's been a while since I've had a key to my house. I lost my key for uh, a while, and uh, today my sister was. I was. I was gonna go today to go and get my key cut. Um, or today or tomorrow anyway. Uh, and. She was like, well, I'm at the mall anyway, so I'll just cut some keys for you. And so she cut me some keys, and uh, I got a couple of house keys now, which is great, because I can go, you know, out in the day. I don't have to wait for somebody to come home for me to be able to go out. And, you know, it's it's kind of a situation where you don't realize how good it is until it's uh, it's gone. <laughs> Something as simple as just having a, uh, a house key. Remarkably convenient. Who would have thought, right? Who would have thought? What a what an incredible you know discovery to have made. Nobody would have expected it. Tomorrow, Having a house key convenient nonsense. It's nonsense. Bring up the trading controls and upgrade your gear. This cat's back in but the game. I'm probably going to go grocery shopping uh, tomorrow afternoon. I'm thinking uh, Can I not get out over here? I guess not. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go grocery shopping tomorrow afternoon. Um, see how it goes. <laughs> you got pinned. Holy cow. Dude got pinned, man. You didn't stand a chance. You be dead. You just like existed for a moment and then was just destroyed. My goodness. My goodness. No. Denied. Anyway. Uh, grocery shopping tomorrow. I think I'm going to go for a stir-fry week. I don't know, maybe pasta week? Not nah, stir-fry week. Stir-fry week. I could go for a um, breakfast week. Breakfast week kind of sounds good. I kind of did that this week. Uh, all I had left from, from my last grocery trip was eggs really so I've been eating a lot of eggs lately um, I could do like a breakfast theme get some uh, some bacon some eggs make some bread you can have eggs benedict french toast maybe some pancakes waffles what other kind of classic breakfasts are there I could pick up uh, I mean I could pick up a steak but I, I don't really like buying I don't know, bacon's meat, I guess, but... You make an exception for bacon, right? That's that's how being a vegetarian works? <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that how it works? I don't know, I have a... I have a um, well, I was, I was going to call it strange, but I don't think it is strange. I think I actually have a, a reason for it. But I have, a, uh, I have an aversion to, to buying uh, meat, but no aversion to buying bacon, and it was the not buying or buying bacon part that I was gonna call strange, but I uh, I think it's justified. Um, which is uh yeah I was I was gonna go on a rant about how it's weird because I'm like well I don't know it's it's still meat I'm still buying it why don't, why do I got a you know problem with buying uh, like a pork chop but not a problem with buying a you know pork belly. Uh, but for for me I. Uh, if I cook like a pork chop or a steak or something like that, like I eat it and that's that's it, right? You know that pork chop or or whatever. That's that's my that's my food for the day, and that's or you know, not necessarily the day, but um, that's at least the protein, the meat, the the meat that I need for the day. You know, that's, that's all the protein that I need, right? Uh, what? What? Um. The heck? We just got uh, destroyed, but um, with bacon, if I buy bacon, you know, the same amount of bacon ends up making 
a lot of bacon fat, which I can then also use in in other dishes to get kind of like uh, it kind of kind of I guess it just, it just lasts longer because it's, it's much fattier. So why don't I? Why am I not happy with buying just like animal fat? I don't know. Why am I not? Maybe I will. Maybe I'll uh, I'll stop being a uh, animal, you know, m you know, muscle buyer. I'll be an animal fat buyer. Maybe that's my new life. It definitely isn't. <laughs> but, you know, I buy a pack of bacon and it lasts, like, forever just because, I mean, in the first place, the bacon lasts a good while, you know, a good week or something, and then the bacon fat also lasts for a, uh, a while. You know, it goes, it goes a long ways, the, the bacon. So I like it. And, uh... Yeah. I don't know. But I, I, might, I might go for breakfast. I could go for a stir for a week. Could go for a breakfast week. I don't know. I mean, they're both pretty good options, right? They're both pretty good options. Guess I'll make the decision tomorrow when I go grocery shopping, or the next day when I go grocery shopping. Whatever day it is that I'm gonna go grocery shopping is tomorrow. I kinda have to go tomorrow. I kinda have to go tomorrow. No, it's too many husks. Um, so probably tomorrow, and then uh, I'll make the, the decision then. You know, whatever the whatever the week is, whatever the the theme is, you know. I don't know. I could go crazy and do sandwiches. I haven't had a sandwich week in a very long time. I'd have to make my own sandwich bread, but that's not you know hard at all. Um. Then I could have some some nice sandwiches. Ooh, an egg goes really well with sandwiches too. So that's you know that's that kind of thing. I don't want to do breakfast sandwiches, okay? I don't want to do you know different types of breakfast sandwiches every day, but, but I do want to make eggs benedict too. You know, eggs benedict is fun to make and fairly simple. Like a lot of people really hate eggs benedict because they say that it's really hard and like takes forever, but like the Reality is, like, poaching an egg is really not that time-consuming. And hollandaise sauce in a blender or a, you know, a, a food processor or whatever it is that, that you do it in. It's, uh, you know, it takes like two minutes or something stupid, right? Now that's bullet time. So it's, uh, it's, it's like, it's, it's, it's a lot easier than I think a lot of people make it. A lot of people are scared by the hollandaise, you know, they've, they've had uh, these horrible experiences of buying uh, either this is a giant paper cut or or of uh, making holidays I'm yawning I'm making holidays you know in a pan or whatever and then messing it up royally <laughs> and you know, scrambled eggs and in, in your stuff and just a terrible experience right but so you just you stick it in a, in a blender thingy you slowly pour the the butter in yeah, as long as as long as you pour the butter slowly, and you don't pour the butter fastly, then um, you have hollandaise. Like that's it. <laughs> that's it. closed. Go make a difference. So it's, it's really not hard. Like you pour the egg. You, I don't know. You pour you pour one of them. You have to pour it slowly. So as long as you just do it slow, and like you have a pretty decent bit of leeway. But you know, as long as you do it slow, you're you're good. And you got Hollandaise, and then you just poach an egg, which is like no big deal. And you got the uh, toast a, an English muffin or a biscuit or something, you know. And you've got your your eggs Benedict, and, and it really doesn't take that long. I know Alex the French cook, or Alex the French guy cooking or whatever. He did a uh, he did a. a Thing recently where they were like speed running making eggs benedict I'm feeling generous <laughs> running dry here
I was muted. Damn. How long was I muted for? I'm gonna go check. Where they were, um... Da -da -da -da. Something, something, they were speedrunning Eggs Benedict. Alex, the French guy cooking. They were speedrunning. They got it down to about 10 minutes, which is, like, pretty good. Um, but they microwaved the poached egg in, like, a cup of water and, uh... With, like, some vinegar or something like that. And I'm like, I don't know, that seems, like, a little bit... That seems a little bit... Outlandish to me. I'd, I'd rather just boil it, even if it takes a little bit longer, in a, in a pot. But may, maybe there is no... You know, taste or health difference between the two. Maybe, maybe it is just strictly superior, you know? Maybe, maybe just because you use less water, it's like literally just better in every way, you know? I don't know. Might try it. I like Eggs Benedict. I mean, who doesn't, right? Like, who doesn't like Eggs Benedict? It's, a, it's such a luxurious sauce. It's wonderful. One sec. Okay. I mean, who doesn't like eggs Benedict, That's right? Tip. Good for clotting. It's a. Uh, it's delicious. We're almost out of time. Make just annoying to make, even even though it's quick, even though it is quick, it is it is it it, it is a little annoying to make. Just because a lot of different parts, you know, and each individual part doesn't really amount to much, but together. They equal the sum of the size of the parts, and there's a lot of parts, and the size is big. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I feel like Eggs Benedict is a thing where, you know, making one is about as hard as making like ten or twenty. You know, the the difficulty and the the time investment and all that it doesn't really change. So much as you add more eggs Benedict, you know, it kind of does, but it's the majority of the work is is really with the buying the ingredients, making sure you have all of them, and preparing them, and you know all that. And, and each thing, you know, you, you end up like, okay, you want to cut up some chives or something. Cutting like a few more chives doesn't add any time, right? The majority of the time is in the like. Getting the knife out, getting the cutting board out, getting the chives out, cleaning up, putting them away, right? Like that's that's where the majority of the time ends up going. So if, yeah, if you just grab more chives from the fridge or something or from your garden or whatever, stick them on the cutting board and cut them at the same time, that doesn't add any more time and you get more chives. If you want to crack more eggs into the pot or something, you know? It doesn't really add much time. It's, it's about the, the cooking time, right? Um, so I, I feel like if you if you can make when you know the hollandaise, most of most of the time is again is it's spent on the um, cleanup and the prep work, you know. The actual making of it, you just put the egg yolks in, put the, the what is it? What is it? It's, it's egg yolks. I, I'm I'm I need to know. Hollandaise recipe. Egg yolks, right, lemon juice. And, uh, and butter. Is it lemon juice? Doesn't sound right to me. I guess it is. You, you need the, the acid, right? Anyway. Yeah, so that's, that's it. It's lemon juice. Or some kind of acid, anyway. Um. There's zeds on the scope. Must close the pod very Egg yolk and butter. Or, like, fat, I guess. Something to... You gotta get that emulsification going on. So you need the, uh... The egg yolks, and then the acid to help with the emulsification, and then you got the, the butter for the fat to, to actually, like, emulsify in and stuff. Um... But yeah, you put more egg yolks in, put more butter in. Put more lemon juice in, and there you go. You know, the the it's 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 mostly about getting it ready. So anyway, it just 
As as one person, I'm like, I don't know, do I really want to, like, do everything I need to to get it set up to, to make Hollandaise? Even if, like, even in the, the French guy cooking dudes, you know, the channel there, um, one of the caveats with, uh, with making it was that all the ingredients were, like, on the table already, you know? Like, they had to chop the chives, but the chives were already there. They had to, um, you know, cut it on a cutting board with a knife, but the cutting board and the knife were already easily accessible in there and ready. Like, they already got ready. They spent, you know, 15 minutes getting everything on the place, getting ready to actually start making it. You know, so really, it wasn't it wasn't 10 minutes. It was, it was longer than that, but... It's, uh... You know, and relative to just, like, toasting a piece of toast and then... Um, frying an egg, which is like, you know, seven minutes. <laughs> Start to finish, like, seven minutes. Yeah, it's a little bit... It's a little, it's a little bit, uh... You know, there, there's a time difference there, for sure. Um... I don't know, maybe. Maybe. And, and on top of that, you know, the, the time difference is there in favor of the toast and the fried egg, but on top of that, they're also microwaving the egg, and I'm like, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if I feel good or if I feel bad about that, you know? Like, that's a... Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's, uh, it's a weird thing, but egg hollandaise could be good. Benedict, egg, egg hollandaise, egg benedict. Eggs benedict could be good. I guess. But it'll probably be a stir fry week. It'll probably be a stir fry week. Is what I'm thinking. I just uh, I haven't had stir fry in a while. I want to do some some crazy stuff. I still got some tofu in my fridge. It's good until like December or something or other. So I'll have to use that up uh, very very soon. Where am I going? What am I doing? Who am I? Where am I? What year is it? Twenty eighteen. I know what year it is. Don't even don't even think for a moment that I don't. It's twenty eighteen. I know. I'll probably stir fry. I don't know. Tofu. I tofu, uh some veggies. I normally do rice. I normally do rice, but I could go with like uh, a noodle stir fry this week. Stir fry is kind of one of those things where I make it like once and then I just eat it throughout the week. You know? Like I make a big stir fry and then I put it in the fridge and then just keep it and uh, reheat it. Because I just, it's, 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 it's again, it's kind of like, it's easy to make, you know, one quote unquote stir fry. It's, it's also, you know, easy to make like, you know, seven quote unquote stir fries. You know, seven servings and one serving, the, the, the investment is really not that much uh, different. It's it, the, the investment really isn't that different, but doing it seven times separately, you know, making it each day, that's a big time difference. That's that's very noteworthy. So I typically make it, uh, I'll cook the, uh, I'll, I'll often cook the rice or noodles or whatever it is, I'll cook that the day of. Um, just because it's like... Well, like, I, I guess with rice, more of the time is spent putting it in the fridge than actually making it. Like, you just put the stuff in the thing, get on, and then come back later and you have rice. You know, it's, it's adding time when you have to stick it into the thing. Plus, my rice cooker only goes uh, a couple of cups anyway, so I couldn't make, like, a whole thing. And the rice, in my opinion, when you put it in the fridge, it doesn't taste as good. It's just, it's not as good. You know, if I want something that requires that kind of more crunchiest kind of thingy, you know, a little bit more dry doubt kind of rice thing, you know, that you kind of get when you, when you have, um, your rice sit in the fridge for a day or two. If I wanted something like that, then yeah, sure, you know. Fried rice oftentimes benefits from that. You know, the last you'd put your rice in the fridge, um, for a day or something. Um, it's not necessary, but... You know, it can be okay. Um, then, then yeah, I'll do that. But uh, for, for the most part, you know, it's uh, rice that's been left in the fridge. It's just not as good. It's just not as good. Rice that was just made is much better, in my opinion. 
So that's kind of why I make the rice. And then noodles is always like just pathetically it's easy so to make, fast. you know? Like who's whining about being able to like having to make noodles? You know, it's like a two minutes of time investment. You stick it in the pot, you wait like, you know, anywhere from like two to ten minutes or whatever, depending on the noodles you're cooking and how well done you want it to be done and blah, 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 blah. It's like nothing, right? It's mostly just waiting and you can go do something while you do it, you know. It's always the same. Anyways, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you've been there. See you all next time. Bye-bye.